Okay, here's the dilemma. You got about three to four different shows that you've been trying to binge watch. Unfortunately, it feels like there's just not enough hours in a day to get your binge watching done. And if you've got this thing called a job eating up about eight hours in your day, it kind of makes it hard to kind of do your binge watching. The nerve of them. Now, now, I know we all want to be responsible workers. <laughs> I know we all want to be responsible workers. <laughs> I know we all want to be responsible workers. <laughs> Now, I know we all want to be responsible workers while at the same time getting our fix for the binge. I'm here to let you know we're going to do just that. Don't go anywhere. Up next. Should I be saying this? Hey guys, what's up? It's Low for Low Nose, and you really don't have to use this for your work, but you know, if you do, disclaimer, it's up to you. All right, so the idea behind all of this is having an always on top window on top of your desktop or on top of your work flow. So you're not readjusting win windows to resizing things just to view something. You can use a full real estate of your desktop and just have an always on top window on top of your desktop. Okay, so let's start off. First thing you wanna do is you want to use a Chrome browser. Um, with the Chrome browser, we're, we're going to be using a Chrome extension. The extension is called Always On Top. So let's go ahead to our Chrome and we're gonna to go to the Chrome store. I will leave a link in the description down below so you can go directly to the Chrome store. So within the Chrome store, we are going to look for an app called Always On Top or AOT. Okay. Once you get in there, you're gonna see always on top. You're gonna to go ahead and add to Chrome. Yes, add extension. And once that is done downloading, you can go ahead and go to whatever site you want. For this example, we will go to my YouTube channel. And then from here, you can actually take the actual web address of whatever website you're on that holds like some kind of media or content or, or video and then you're going to go to the, you can actually see how the always on top is now, the extension is now added to the browser. So we're going to click on it and then it'll bring a drop down with a plus or a minus. We're going to press the plus and then we're going to copy and paste the, the web address right into here. We're going to press the app button. What this does is it brings up a separate window that is, hey everyone, like welcome I back said, to another VO vlog where you can follow my always on top. I can click anywhere here on the, on the page and this video will always be on top. If I want, I can go ahead and click on this video and you can see that the video always stays on top. Um, now you can have multiple always on top windows on top of your page. So if I went to, let's just say, um, watch ESPN live, I'll go there. I'll copy and paste the address, go to my always on top extension. I'll press another plus. I'll do it on field number two, extend. And then I have another one here. I can open up an, uh, another window. Let's go to Amazon Video. Copy and paste the extension. Always on top. In the app. There we go. And, and that's good to go. And let's do one more. I can always go to HBO Go. Copy and paste that. Always on top. You got a plus sign. and bring up and bring it up now what you have to keep in mind is that when you open up every single window always on top is by is set to incognito mode so it's not going to sign in by default to these separate separate pages once it brings up the the separate always on top page you have to sign into them individually so you can start your stream and once you sign into all of your apps, you can then view all of your video in motion on top of your desktop or your workflow. And check this out. What do you say we go ahead and do some editing while watching some shows? Pretty cool, right? All right, and one more thing I wanna show you. Since things are in incognito mode, not every website works with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and try the Xfinity website. And you will see since the since the app is in continuous incognito mode, the 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 website will actually reject it. This won't work while you're in incognito mode. Uh, and that's it. So just keep in mind, not every website will work with it. All right, that's it. So you are now easily watching over whatever you're doing. So go ahead, make sure you're being smart 
about that. Feel free, leave a like if you found this helpful. Go ahead to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other tips. And also check out my shows, check me out on my social medias, load no sort of. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.